Hey, it's something shooting here, and today I'm gonna showcase a next evolution of an alarm clock I made a video about a few days ago. And now I have changed it to work with the 12 hour clock. So we're using AM and PM now. And last time we were just doing the 24 hour clock. So this has made a few changes. First of all, obviously, we have added the AM and the PM. And how it works is that whenever we change from 11 to 12, we change a and pm because it goes 11 am 12 pm 1 pm and so on and the other way around and how we do it is that i have simply first added a private boolean am and pm to the time class and we're then able to check rather or not it's am time or pm time or at the beginning that's a false then when i give it a start time I would simply do hour, minute, seconds, and a.m. p.m. I then simply check. I get the hour, minute, second, how many second, and if the last spot is equal to a.m., then we set a.m. to true, or if it's equal to p.m., we set p.m. to true. I then have my get current time method still, which just get the hour, the minute, the second, and now add a spacing and then get AM or PM, which is very simply checks if AM is true, return AM, and if PM is true, return PM. Then inside the time passing method, we're simply doing still adding one second at the end of the seconds, add one minute, reset the seconds at the end of 60 minutes, add one hour. But what we're now doing is simply checking if we're at the hour 12. We would ch change AM PM by calling the change AM PM method I created that simply goes and checks if we are at AM now, set AM to false, set PM to true, and of course the other way around, if it's PM, set AM to true and PM to false. So by simply creating this very simple loop, and then instead of at hour 24, reset the day, we would go at hour 13. Let's remove the next day because it's taking the next day. It's just a change from morning to evening. And then when we're at 13, we had reset the hour to 1. So we're able to go 11, 12, 1. So we go 11, 12, 1. So we still have the 12 because we still need 12. And I just very simply added. Actually, didn't add anything. It always works. That when our checker, our alarm, it will simply just get the current time and check if it's equal to the time inside my text box. The only thing is just a bit clunky right now because you need to write it in the exact same manner as the time is read. So let's say now we're at 11 a.m. So at soon we're going to get to 12. Let's do 30, 10 p.m. And let's see if we hit 11, 12, 30, 10 p.m. We did. And we get an alarm message. So this is my changes for the alarm clock from a 24-hour clock to a 12-hour clock. And of course, I will leave a link to all the, the source code in the description. So if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe. And I wish you all a wonderful day.